we're going to try to figure out what appliance it needs to make itself a playable archetype. Okay, let me look at household items. We're looking up appliances. We're going to look at Home Depot. We're going to look at the Home Depot appliance play page. Um, okay, so we have appliance socket troll, which is a outlet. We have copy buckle, which is what? Copy buckle is a is he a lamp? No, he's not. He's I think he's just a photocopier. Because we have, a, okay, appliance or copy buckle. Copy buckle is, yeah, photocopier. And then we have breaker buckle. And I, I get, breaker buckle, I guess, is supposed to be the breaker for your house. Okay, so we have to come up with something. We have, like, a copying machine, a breaker, a socket for the house. Uh, I'm thinking... Maybe something like Lido fixture. If we're trying to make it a lamp, how do we give that a cool name? Because we have socket troll, copy buckle, and then we have breaker buckle. So they're all like tiny trolls. No, they're they're trolls though. We need to come up with a troll name with a light with a with a lamp pun, a lamp pun. Plixi or something like that because it's almost like a light pixie lamp wing hmm we couldn't that could be a thing I'm thinking oh this is this is actually really hard coming up with a good name because the appliances have come some pretty unusual names let's look at Yukipedia and or like this and see if there's any like where's my trivia at uh, the monster's head appears in the card appliance for reuse. Okay, thanks. <laughs> it's funny that I've I have resorted to looking at Home Depot to figure out how to name this. Um So we have Laundry Dragon, we have Celtopus, which is kind of like extension cords. We have Propellion. Nah, grills aren't electronic. That's gas powered. There's that's different. What is an alternate name? For a troll. Let's look at troll synonyms. Okay, Blendim kinda sounds pretty good. Actually, yeah, I think Blendim is definitely the name. Appliance or Blendim. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It's going to be like. Okay, we're gonna look up some AI generated art. And we're going to. Was it Dream by Wombo Art? We're gonna do a blender that's a imp. And then we have to do art style. So what's the art style? I'm gonna say line art. Okay, that's that's not close at all. That's not close at all. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go back to creation. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I'm gonna be honest. That is that is pretty cool. We're going to download a picture of appliance or socket troll, and we're going to put it into the image compiler to see what it looks like. Oh, it's so brutal! <laughs> Look at this. It's so bad. <laughs> We're gonna generate again. This is actually really funny. So the thing is, that I think it's tr I think it's trying to pick up the picture of Socket Troll and use it. Let me see if I put this on weak. And then... We go no style, and what does it look like then? Huh. No, I don't think that's it. We're going to take out the influence and come up with something else. How do we remove that? I don't know. I'm going to just reload this. 
Okay, we're gonna get an animated, you know, it's gonna be an animated blender. That's what we're gonna call it. That might give it, if it gets, maybe if it thinks it's like cartoon style, it might give us that right one. Come on, baby, give me an animated blender. Okay, it's actually thinking that we're asking it to look for animated blender. Like, it's blending, and we want the animation of it. Anthropo Anthropomorphic blender. Okay, that's kind of cool, I gotta say. That is a cool piece of art. Oh, maybe we just have to give it a different version every time to see what it looks like. Oh my god, that's cursed. <laughs> Yo, that's cursed. Dude, that's disgusting. What is this? Oh, I, I can't look at it. That's horrible. <laughs> this, is, this is really bad. Oh, man. I think I'm about to give up on this, and I'm just gonna make the card. I'm just gonna make the card. This is... What the hell is this? It made- it made a studio art cover. What- what is this? Where did the words come from? I literally put Blender Appliance, and it just went brrrr... Or something like that. <laughs> yes, this is- this is the image we're using. This is the image that we're gonna be using. I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's taking way too much time. How do I import an image now? Okay, yeah, I think that's good. If you control no monsters or all monsters, you control or appliance for monsters. You can reveal one appliance or monster from the deck and special summon the revealed monster. Then you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, this card's name becomes that monster's name until the end phase. If your opponent activates an effect that would target or destroy an appliance or link monster or monsters that you control, quick effect, banish this card from the graveyard, Move the monsters that would be targeted or destroyed to a main monster zone besides the one they are in, and negate that effect. You can only use each effect of appliance or blend up once per turn. This sounds amazing. I think I solved appliancer's problems. It only took an hour. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna upload this. And now... Looking at my cards, we got Appliancer, Blend Imp, and he's fully done. We did it, boys. We came up with a good card. Now, how I'm going to go into my deck constructor, and we're going to think of a good deck build that uses this, like, card. We did it, boys. Let's see how this deck actually turns out now. The only thing is we need to actually not open all these traps. So this basically turns the appliancers into a competent and viable battle trap stun focused deck that can survive into battle phase to be able to proc them, which is nice. Now this, now this is a really good hit. We out we would activate ble um blend imp. Then what we would do is we would go into the deck, we would reveal. So we would just basically we're gonna say this to spell and trap, why not? And then what we're going to do is it's going to special summon itself to the field. And then we're going to special the blend imp. That's going to trigger the socket troll. Off of the socket troll, we would be able to summon another socket troll. So the thing is, you can't draw two socket trolls. You have to draw one socket troll. Like, the most you can draw is one socket troll if you draw a blend, it, blend imp. So I guess it's kind of fair in that sense. And then you're going to special summon the, um, the other socket troll. At this point, what we can do is we still haven't used our normal, so we have five summons here. We're able to go, like... I would say go for... I'd go for a Celtipus line. But what I'm actually thinking of right now is to maybe go for, like... We have five summons, so we can go for a Celtipus off of the two socket trolls. We can special out the socket troll by its own effect. We can normal summon the breaker buncle. Then what we can do is we can go propel lion off of the blend imp, and then we can XZ the two into an ensemble blue robin.
and then we would special this in defense we'd overlay that on top of this and we're gonna move this over here to be honest that's not real that's not that bad because then what we have is we have mirror force set and we have appliance or conversion this means that if they attack our propellion because the thing is like we're gonna bounce two monsters off of the ensemble blue then if they try attacking into the propellion because they can't attack in the celtopus they'll attack into the ensemble blue first the ensemble blue will die most likely then or i mean depending on if they get over the mirror force this is really this is a really busted board then they will attack into the propellion the propellion will drop their attack that's fine then we're going to appliance for conversion and that's going to allow us to swap the propellion to a different zone that will allow us to get the unlinked effect and be able to drop them to zero again so they can't attack into the propellion Mind you, also the appliance or conversion allows us to dodge an effect off of Propellion, and we have Blend Imp in Graveyard to protect our Propellion by moving it. Boys, this is epic. I think this is the perfect card. There's nothing else I think Appliancer could ever ask for.